Hi, my name is Kelly Yoon and today I'm going to be talking about the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as the Lou Gehrig's disease. The amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, was first found in 1869 by a French neurologist named Jean Martin Chercot. However, it wasn't until 1939 that it became known nationally because of a famous baseball player named Lou Gehrig. He died because of ALS in 1941. ALS is a progressive neurodegenerative disease that affects the nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord, also known as the central nervous system. When the motor neurons in the brain and the spinal cord dies, the ability for the brain to control voluntary movement is lost. This results in the patient's loss of ability to speak, eat, move, and to breathe. There's two types of the ALS disease. The first type is the sporadic ALS, which is the most common form. 95% of the people with ALS have this type. The second type is familial ALS or FALS, and this runs in families due to genetics. 5-3% people with ALS have this form, and if one parent has this, then there's a 50% chance that their children will have FALS as well. Researchers still don't know the exact cause of ALS. However, some people think that it is due to genetic mutations or bacteria and chemicals in the environment or a protein called SOD1. And they assume that these three may be a cause to ALS. Around 6,000 people are diagnosed with ALS each year. And it is most common around people who are ages between 40 to 70. And researchers also showed that the rate of ALS was much higher in non-Hispanic Caucasians in Western countries. People who are diagnosed with the Lou Gehrig's disease usually live from 2 to 5 years and 50% of the patients usually live more than 3 years. Several visible symptoms of ALS include tripping, dropping things, and having slurred speech. However, several symptoms and signs that the patients feel are like having abnormal fatigue of the arms or legs, or having muscle cramps or twitches, and also just having uncontrollable laughter and crying. Several tests that doctors run to diagnose someone with ALS is magnetic resonance imaging, also known as MRI, muscle biopsy, and also electromyogram or EMG. There is no treatment or cure for the Lou Gehrig's disease. However, there are several drugs that doctors could prescribe, such as the Rilusol drug that helps to slow the progression of the drug or control like the pain or spasticity and to also help patients swallow. And as the disease gets worse, there's going to be a time where the patient cannot chew or swallow anymore. So that's going to be when the doctors um, insert a PEG tube into the stomach and this helps to feed the patients. There's no particular prevention for this disease. However, doctors do recommend to eat bright colored foods and vegetables which could help to, re to prevent the disease or just slow the progression. Thanks for watching my video about the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as the Lou Gehrig's disease, and I hope that you guys learned as much as I did through this research. Thank you!